Today we will walk through a Capture the Flag enabled lab and discuss the benefits and features of these labs. If you have not already done so, you will need to add the labs to your account. Please view our video on adding these labs to your account if you need any assistance. Capture the Flag labs function the same as the pre-existing labs, but contain flags throughout the lab that students can capture. As students capture these flags, the environment is able to track information such as how far they have gotten through the lab, their responses, accuracy, and other useful information about user activity. All of this is compiled in the student dashboard. The Capture the Flag labs can be found on the labs page of your account and will be found under the heading Scoring Tool Demo. To open a lab, simply click on the lab you would like to access. For today's demo, I will be selecting Crafting and Deploying Malware. This lab will look the same as the previous Crafting and Deploying Malware lab, but has been enhanced with the Capture the Flag functionality. Students will work through these labs the same way they would work through any other lab, by following the steps on the left to proceed through the lab. At certain points, they will encounter challenges that appear as InfoSec Maroon buttons. The first challenge they will encounter in any lab is a sample challenge. This will show them what to expect when encountering a challenge and how to answer them. The sample challenges are not scored, but all challenges after that will be. In each challenge, there will be a six-digit flag, which they will need to find to complete the challenge. When a student opens a challenge, it will give them a goal to accomplish and ask them to enter the six-digit flag. If they complete the instructions, they will find the six-digit flag. If they enter the correct six-digit flag, the challenge button will turn green. If they enter an incorrect number, they will be told that it is incorrect and they will be able to enter a new number. They can also skip this challenge, allowing them to continue with the rest of the lab, but this will impact their accuracy. When they click either Submit or Skip, the lab takes a screenshot of the desktop they are supposed to be accessing and logs that screenshot to the student dashboard. As an instructor, if you are concerned that one student is sharing the six-digit flag with other students, you can view these screenshots side by side against the correct screenshot to see if they completed the challenge correctly.